Hello friends, uh, welcome to the video class. So in this class, we are going to learn about the different types of DNA and the, its structure. So first we will discuss the triple X DNA or it is also known as the triple helical DNA. So what is the triple helical DNA? The word triple X itself means that three, the composition of three. So triple X DNA consists of three strands of DNA. So when this triple helical DNA forms during the low pH, during the low pH in the cell, the homo homo purines combines with homo pyrimidines, homo pyrimidines to form the give rise to the triple helical. DNA. So the triple helical DNA consists of one, two, and three strand. The central strand is always, or it the central strand must be purine. So there are two purines, adenine or guanine. So the if the central strand is purine, then the bond form will look like either this or if G is present then it will look like this so these are the two ways in which the triple helical DNA forms so if A is the central then the thymine is present at the other two strands if uh, guanine is in the central strand then cytosine is present in the other two strands so talking about its structure so when we draw the structure So if we draw the structure So if this is the structure of the DNA in which this is 3 dash to 5 dash and this is 3 dash to 5 dash Let's suppose this strand is poly pyrimidine and this strand is poly purine. So this is the basic structure of the Watson and Crick double helical DNA. So when the when the third strand when the third strand combines with the double helical DNA, it always combines along the major groove. So this is the minor groove and this is the major groove. So the, st the third strand whenever it combines, it combines along the major groove. So it will look like, it will look like this along with the major group so this is the third strand which is either it is made up of poly purines or poly pyrimidine so the structure form the bond forms will look like purine is to pyrimidine. So these are the two strands. These are the two strands of double helical DNA. And if the third strand, if the third strand, this I have shown in the red color, if the third strand is purine strand, if this the third strand is if purine, then the structure forms will the form in reverse arrangement and if this third form is pyrimidine if this third form is pyrimidine then the structure form will look like parallel arrangement and 
this the bond form between between the three different nucleotide bases here the this pairing is known as the hookstein base pairing this is known as hookstein base pairing so this base pairing this type of base pairing formed between these molecules is known as the hookstein base pairing and when we write and when we write it in this form d a d t the third strand the third strand will always written in in italics so this is the central strand this is the other and this is the third strand which is always written in italic forms so this is how the hookstein base pairing the hookstein base pairing helps in the formation of this triple helical dna and the and the third D, the third dna strand combines along the major groove of the double stranded dna and in this way this structure forms there is one more thing that is intermolecular as well as the intramolecular base pairing so if the inter, if the if the inter molecular if the intermolecular molecular base pairing will look like this purine is to purine is to pyrimidine then the structure will look like the in the reverse arrangement or in the anti parallel arrangement then this third strand will arranged in a anti parallel direction and if the intermolecular arrangement will uh, is in the form of pyrimidine is to purine is to purine then the structure will arrange in the parallel orientation or the in the parallel arrangement and the other case in case of intramolecular in case of intramolecular 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 is formed intramolecular is formed between the homopurine and the homopyrimidine during the formation of during the super coiling of dna during the super coiling of the dna and this intramolecular uh, is base pairing is also known uh, this dna is also known as h dna is also known as h dna so this is the case of triple, uh, triple helical dna in which uh, let me uh, repeat uh, so there are the three strands and formed during the low ph and uh, and formed with the composition of homopyrimidine and the homopurine strands in which the central strand is always adenine or guanine because the central strand is always is purine and the molecular and the base pairing forms between these uh, different nucleotide bases is known as the hookstein base pairing and and the triple helical strand will form will always form along the major groove along the major groove of the double helical dna and uh, there there are two types of uh, base pairing that is intramolecular as well as the intramolecular so in case of intramolecular these are the two cases if this type of arrangement forms then it will look like in anti parallel orientation if this type of arrangement will form then it will look like in a, a parallel arrangement or parallel orientation and this is the writing pattern the third strand will always written in italics and the other two strands are written as normal and in case of intermolecular base pairing it occurs during the super coiling of the dna and this type of dna is also known as the h dna so talking about the stability of the triple helical dna the triple helical dna is not very stable why because the triple helical dna consists of three phosphate chains and the phosphate is negatively charged so this large amount of negative charge will increase the electrostatic will increase the electrostatic repulsion so with the presence of three phosphate chains the large amount of negative charge will occur 
and this large amount of negative charge will increase the electrostatic repulsion in the structure and this will help in the destabilization of the triple helical DNA. So to this triple helical DNA will exist in only in some cases that uh, like during the uh, at the gene regulatory sites at the gene regulatory sites or uh, at the promoter at the promoter promoters of transcription as well as translation and uh, some other cases so this is about the stabilization of the nuclear uh, stabilization of the triple helical dna so there is one more thing that if we are saying that in case of triple helical dna because of the presence of phosphate chains the negative charge of phosphate uh, it increases the electrostatic repulsion and leads to the destabilization so so in case of, but in case of the double helical dna in case of double helical dna there are two phosphate chains in case of double helical dna there are two phosphate chains and there is also this electrostatic repulsion but uh, how this electrostatic repulsion does not affect the stability of the double helical DNA. So in case of double helical DNA, the magnesium ions are present. So this magnesium ions will bind with the phosphate chains along the sides of the DNA, uh, double helical DNA and it helps in the stabilization of the double helical structure. So this is the case.